Today we're going to look at scale drawings. A scale drawing has exactly the same shape as the original object, but is a different size. So scale drawings that you might see around, you might see scale models. A scale model has exactly the same shape. A, a, a model's three-dimensional uh, representation of something that might be bigger in real life, or it might be smaller in real life, uh, but it's exactly the same shape. It's just been increased or decreased in size depending on uh, the uh, depending on the object. So often you can find uh, scale model cars. They've been decreased in size by usually 14 times smaller or, or thereabouts. And sometimes you can find model insects. Uh, model insects are often uh, scale model insects are, have been blown up. We can also look at scale drawings such as maps. Maps are a very small representation, a much smaller representation of a land so that you can see different distances and that sort of thing. There, so scale drawings and scale models are a couple of examples that we can use and have a look at uh, scales and they use ratios. So this is the most important ratio for any sort of scale drawing or scale model. It's called the scale ratio, the scale ratio here. And it shows the length on the page or the length on the model is to the length in real life. So on one side of the ratio, it shows how much, uh, how far the distance is in on, on the page or on the on the model, and the on the other side of the ratio, it shows that that comparative length, the comparing that length uh, to the to the length of the object uh, or the the distance in real life. So if the first number in a scale ratio, so the first number being on the left here is one, then the second number is called the scale factor. And that's really, really good to work with. It's really easy to work with because if we want to convert a, a distance on our, on our scale model or our scale drawing, our scale diagram, we can just convert it to a real life distance by multiplying by the scale factor. Likewise, if we've got a scale factor, uh, it's very easy for us to, to find what the scale distance should be by dividing by the scale factor from what we know in real life. So when we're creating a scale drawing, when we're actually creating one for ourselves, we can make measurements in real life, make measurements in real life distances, and then divide by the scale factor to know exactly how long it should be on the scale distance. Looking at exa an example here, if we've got a map, we're looking at a map and it's got a scale of 1 is to 20,000. 1 is to 20,000. So that means one unit on the page, so one centimetre on the page, is equivalent to 20,000 centimetres in real life. That's just the, exactly the same. One metre uh, on the page is going to be exactly the same as 20,000 metres. So you can see that there's that multiplicative effect and we, that's why we don't need any units there. So we've got here, it could be any units, just so long as they're the same units. So our questions here, we're finding an actual distance and then finding a scale length. So we're going in both directions. So to work out a distance in real life, if it's two centimetres uh, on the page, we need to multiply by the scale factor. Scale factor in this case is 20,000 because the first number here is 1. So that means the scale factor for this map is 20,000. So 2 centimetres times 20,000, our scale factor, is 40,000 centimetres. That means 2 centimetres on the page is 40,000 centimetres in real life. You can see that we've had to keep it in the same units, but now we can convert our, our real life distance to a more, an easier to understand unit because 40,000 centimetres, it's difficult to kind of think about just how, how, how far that is. But 400 metres is a much, easier, uh, a much easier distance to think about. 40,000 centimetres, converting to metres, we, all we need to do because there are 100 centimetres in one metre is divide by 100. Dividing by 100 will show that there are 400 metres is the same as 40,000 centimetres. So 400 metres is approximately the distance all the way around a, uh, the, the, a single loop of a running track. So then looking at a scale distance now, having a look at exactly how far 2.86 kilometres would be uh, on, on a map. So the scale distance of 2.86 kilometres. So we just need to divide by our scale factor here, 2.86 kilometres divided by 20,000. It's a bit difficult to do uh, such a small number divided by such a large number, so we can convert it to metres, uh, put it in our calculator, and we see that 2,860 metres 
divided by 20,000, our scale factor, is going to be 0.143 metres on the page. Once again, 0.143 metres, it's difficult to kind of think about how much that is, but then we can convert that to centimetres by, because there's 100 centimetres in a metre, multiplying by 100. So if we multiply by 100 here, going from 0.143 metres, that's the same as 14.3 centimetres. So that's how far it is on the page, 14.3 centimetres, that's equivalent to 2.86 kilometres on our map. Now we're looking at a couple of different sort of problems. We've got to actually work out and determine the scale factor for two, for two of these uh, problems. So we've got four millimetres on a scale drawing representing 50 centimetres in actual, uh, in real life. And here we've got an actual length of 0.1 millimetres, a very small distance, being represented by three centimetres on a scale drawing. So this one here, obviously, we're actually increasing the size. So blowing up the, the uh, picture to make it bigger. So for our first one, this uh, we, we use our uh, for our scale ratio. Our scale ratio is the distance on the uh, in real life. Uh, to, sorry, the distance on the page to the distance in real life. So the distance on the page four millimeters on the scale drawing uh, to the distance in real life fifty centimeters. So we need to convert those both to the same units to, to be able to use a ratio because all ratios need to be need to be uh, expressed in the same units. So multiplying by 10 will put our 50 centimetres in millimetres. And now they're both in millimetres, we can remove the millimetres because they're both in the same unit. So four is to 500. Um, however, that's not going to help us. That's, that's a ratio, uh, certainly, but it's not, one, it's not in simplified form. It's, it's not con in conventional, conventional simplified form. And two, it's, it's, we can't uh, work out the scale factor because the first number isn't one. So we need to make the first number one. We can do that by going from four to one, dividing by four. So dividing by four, and we can divide by four here as well. That means that if we divide both of them by four, we've got one is to 125. And that, that means the second number now, because this number is one, the second number is the scale factor. So the scale factor is 125. So for that map, we'd be able to take any measurement uh, and multiply it by 125 to find out how long, how far it is in real life, the distance of the length in real life. So for our second problem here, we've got the distance on the page is three centimetres. The distance in real life is 0.1 millimetres. So once again, converting both to the same unit, converting both to millimetres, we can multiply the centimetres by 10 because there's 10 millimetres in one centimetre. Three centimetres times 10 means that's 30 millimetres. So we've got 30 millimetres, 0.1 millimetres, same unit, so we don't need to put the units there. Uh, it's a bit difficult to work with decimals, so if I multiply both sides by 10, I can make it one, uh, 300 is to 1. This, isn't, uh, this doesn't show us the scale factor though because the first number isn't 1. Because the first number isn't 1, it means uh, that we've still, got, we've still got a ratio in simplest form and that's, that's fine, but we can't find the scale factor out easily from this. So what we need to do is make sure that we get a 1 here. And we can do that by dividing by 300. 300 divided by 300 is going to be 1. We do that to both sides and we make this a fraction 1 over 300, 1 300th, because that's 1 divided by 300. And that means now the second number is the scale factor. So the scale factor for this second problem here is 1 300th. And you can see that if we've got a positive number, that means any distance on the map is going to represent a bigger distance in real life. Here, uh, sorry, not a positive number, a number bigger than one. Here we've got a number less than one, a fraction, a fraction of one. Uh, and because we've got a small fraction, that means that the, the distance represented on the page is going to be smaller in real life. Uh, much smaller, and, that, and it's going to be 300 times smaller in fact.